Hello all you coin collectors out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to take a look at the one half new penny coin from 1974. The one new penny coin from 1974. And we're going to try to explain how the 1967 six pence coin caused a need for the half penny coin from 1971 on. So let's get them a little bit larger. And if we look here, this is the half penny. And uh, we can just flip it over and we see, ah, yeah, there's that half new penny. And then if we flip this one over, we see that it says one new penny. And if we flip this one over, we see that it has the Mary Gillick portrait of Queen Elizabeth II when she was, uh, what was she, 29 years old, I believe, when she took the throne. So that, that that's the sixpence coin from 1967. So let's move that out of here. And let's take a look at these two. So, of course, one half pence is equal to one half of this one pence coin. And the reason that they have the half pence coin is under decimalization, they made it so 100 new pennies equal the pound. The problem was that in 1967, they decided that they'd also keep the six pence coin. The six pence coin used to be under the old pound system, there were 40 of these to a pound. Um, but under the new pound system, there were, uh, this was worth 2.5 cents. So that when, when they moved this over, they made this um, worth 2.5 cents to the pound. And that meant that they had to have half cents if you were going to give change for the one cent. So if we had this one new penny and this one new penny that was equal to this six pence coin from 1971 until 1980 uh, when they got rid of the half pence coin and of course they did get rid of the um, six pence coin at the same time so let's take a look at these now one thing that's really interesting is in the old days, you could tell how much money you had by simply weighing it. So this half pence coin weighs, and they're both bronze, the half new penny. I call it half pence, half new penny. Sometimes I call it a penny by mistake. It's one half new penny is its official title. And this is one new penny, and that's its official title. Uh, this one half new penny weighs 1.78 grams, which is exactly half of the 3.56 grams which the one new penny weighs and it's actually a quarter of the two new pence so this two new pence coin is 7.12 grams this is half or 3.56 and this is a quarter of it or 1.78 so it used to be you could just weigh all your coppers and you could tell how much money you had just by saying how many grams you had because they all were weighed in relationship to each other. So this was half of this, so it weighed half. This was a um, quarter of this, so it weighed one quarter. Now that didn't go up to the, uh, the five pence coin. Uh, the five new pence coin um, was a copper nickel coin. So it wasn't a copper coin like this at all. Um, it was a copper nickel, so it looks like shiny and silver. And that did not weigh twice what or five times what a uh, one new penny was. It just gets ridiculous at some point. So what they do is they change the metal material so you can tell the difference between them. So how many of these did they make? Well, in 1974, they made 365 million of these. Now this, the back of both of these is a uh, Christopher Ironsides engraving. On this one, it is a crown portocullis and the crown portocullis course is the symbol of Westminster or the Palace of Westminster and is on the badge of the Palace of Westminster and it's used by the ministers and their official correspondence. This one over here the half new penny is actually a crown and it's the crown of Henry the sixth who founded the House of Tudor uh, which is the present um, family or house of the Queen. So when we look at this coin, 
Um, this one they made 365 million. This one they made 331 million. Again, they both are going to have the same portrait on it, which is the Arnold Machen second portrait of Queen Elizabeth. I believe she was 47 years old. She's wearing the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara on both of them. And it says DG Reg FD 1974 behind her, which is by the grace of God, Queen and Defender of the Faith, 1974. And then in front of her, it says Elizabeth II, um, a beaded inner rim, and both of these coins have a smooth edge. So this one you could still use. It hasn't been demonetized. This one has been demonetized. No more using the uh, half cents or half new pennies. And what that means is that this one's actually worth a lot more than this one in present day value. Because when they demonetize coins, they try to collect them all and take them out of circulation. And collectors keep them, but they can't keep all of them. The government takes whichever ones they can and some essentially just melts them down and makes new coins with them generally. So this coin here is probably worth 15 to 20 cents US, the half new penny. And this one here is worth maybe two to, if it's in better condition than this, maybe 15 cents US. So neither one of them is worth a lot. They're great for collectibles and they're great for explaining how you can weigh money and get um, uh, figure out how much you have and how you can make change for a two and a half penny coin, which was what the six pence became in 1971. All right, that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Have a great day and we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.